Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or should we say bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Yes, we are at Paul Ricard this evening for round three of season six for the Extreme Racing League. We are, of course, sponsored by NC3D, the Driver 61 Sim Academy, and, of course, CD Keys as well. Joining me in the box, as always, is the boss of the league himself, Mr. Cesar Lopez. Hello, everyone. Welcome to France. Uh, this is going to be a fantastic race. It's going to be full of overtakes, full of fighting. Uh, we've, saw, we, we've seen some action <laughs> yesterday. Uh, some bad action and some good action. <laughs> but... Yes, uh, yes, of course. That is in reference to the uh, uh, <laughs> development league that yeah. we had. Um, the development league race we had... Um, uh, last night, but uh, and hmm. Sasha is saying in the chat we're going to be going all dry. Yeah, all dry for the uh, qualifying and the race. Yes, just need to confirm the race if it's possible. Yep. So, so we've um. So we'll just, we'll uh, quickly go through the. Uh, uh, the lineup at the moment. Uh, uh, Gabo has just uh, got into the session. We're just waiting for him to select uh, his car. And we've got him. We've got Sasha, Waldo, Frizdy, Liam Hardman, Bull Beast, Zola, Smooth, Waddington, Tudor making his X1 debut this evening. Uh, Alex Haig, CBT Mask, Matrix, JBL, Starfish, Hurricane, and Trap Paulos. It's going to be a very interesting, very interesting race today. 16 drivers, well, 17 with Gabo. Uh, we have some. Yeah, some absolutely. There. Remember, this is a 13 uh, season, a short season, so it's not going to be great. Yep. Yep, there we go. That's Gabo in selecting his uh, Red Bull, the Checo Perez of X1, if you will, folks. But Alex, start, uh, Alex in his uh, Williams. Uh, just coming around to end the first sector now. 22-4 uh, for the first sector. This should be the first lap of uh, qualifying. Uh, with 17 drivers here, we're only losing two drivers from this part of qualifying. The slowest two drivers from this uh, part of qualifying will be eliminated and will take no further parts in qualifying. They'll start 16th and 17th. So uh, once... Uh, once we get uh, a lap on the board, uh, I'll quickly go through the uh, championship standings. And uh, the great thing as well is that the um, the championship standings are a lot more in depth this season compared to previous seasons because it actually gives you like it gives you uh, points per race, average race result, best race result, um, the DNFs they've had, the race wins, fast slaps, podiums, average grid start, highest grid start, and of course. Since we're in qualifying, the pole positions that each driver has. So Alex coming down the pitch straight now to set his first lap of the day. That is a 130.736. That is his first lap of the day. Yes. And why is he doing that? Why is he doing that? Just cutting all the corners. Why is he doing that? Oh, you gotta do that. Yeah, so it's okay. I've, I've, okay. I've already uh, clipped it on my end. That one yeah. is definitely that one. That one's heading to the stewards. Alex, you can't be doing that. JBL, meanwhile, he Someone goes didn't second read the one. <laughs> yep, a one thirty point eight for uh, JBL in uh, the Alpine. Uh, Alpine's home race. Uh, we've got uh, an Aston Martin about to cross the line now. Elfin Starfish, what can he do? First man to break into the 29s today with a 129.831. Uh, Trap Polos uh, invalidated uh, his lap. We've got CVT, we've got, uh, CVT Mask in the Williams and Gabo in the uh, Red Bull. They're on outlaps at the moment. So while we're waiting for them to get their laps underway, uh, this, gives me, this gives me the opportunity to go through the uh, championship standings at the moment. Uh, Bull Beast with uh, two podiums to his name uh, this season so far. That's put him at the top of the standings with 30 points. Sasha with uh, 20, uh, 
uh, with 28. Uh, he's got he's got a race win under his belt uh, this season, so that's definitely uh, helped him. Frisdy, he'll be out with a point to prove uh, uh, as Andrea gets himself into the session. So now we'll be losing the slowest three drivers because that will be bringing us up to 18 drivers. So, um, so, so Frisdy, he'll be out with a point to prove. He got pole position last time out to Imola, but he didn't finish the race. So he'll definitely be looking to try and get, um, try and uh, get some redemption and uh, con continue his championship uh, defense. He's still at the top. He's still near the top of the standings with 25 points thanks to his race win. Uh, but he's got Matrix and Waldo uh, behind him, both tied on 20 points. Um, and they've both had a best starting, best finishing result of their uh, fourth. So, um, so we'll uh, we'll cross that bridge on count back if 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 still ends up being a tie between them. Uh, Starfish and uh, Long Retreat uh, both have 18 points. Andrea. Um, with 16 points, Gabo with uh, 11, CBT Mask with 7, Ollie with 4, Smooth with 4, Asda with 2, and then, and then the Iron Exo, uh, Lucky Do, and 2D all with just the one point. Gabo about to cross the line now to finish his first lap of Q1. What's he going to set? Is he going to go top of the timesheet? Not quite. 300 off for the 129.866. So, so that's how the uh, Drivers' Championship looks at the moment. Uh, thanks to uh, Bull Beast's strong start to the season, that's put Alfa Romeo at the top of the championship standings with 46 points. Alpha Tauri, they're actually, they're actually having a good season for once, even though it's only the se even though we're only three rounds in. Uh, Alex retires from the session. He's happy with his time, feels he doesn't need to improve. Alpha Tauri, who, under their previous name, Toro Rosso, were previously at the bottom of the standings on a regular basis, are actually second in the championship standings right now with 40 points. And I, I mean, definitely... Definitely the huge boost that they've been needing. Haas with 31, Mercedes 26, Williams 25, Aston Martin 18, Red Bull 12, Ferrari 4, Alpine 4, and McLaren still yet to score. And uh, Starfish looks like he improved on his lap time with a 129.602. Extends his advantage by a couple of tenths. Interesting that the, the, the champions Mercedes here is before. L last race, uh, I believe you were not here, Kenzie, because it was me and Sola and the comps. But Frisdy, yeah, for Imola, yes. Frisdy was. Oh, by the way, congratulations on your birthday. I knew you. It was your birthday week, <laughs> right? Yep, uh, I'm officially 29, folks. <laughs> One step from the third floor, man. <laughs> and, yeah. and Frisdy had a fantastic race. He was doing mm -hmm. so good, but then he started to. to he had a glitch, a terrible glitch that was caused by uh, internet connection. He uh, he was blinking, and nobody knew where he was, so he was uh, forced to retire. To be, uh, he he had no. Uh. He, the, the the standings were were putting him on 15, and there was no chance we can get him on 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 his actual P1 because we didn't know if he was actually there. Uh, so it it was it was a mess. And he he was forced to retire for that uh, for that uh, uh, situation. He was going to get a free win. That was a free win for him. That there was no competition at all, or were uh, there less? There was little competition for him on that on that track. Let's see how he does this track. He was he he's he's been practicing a lot. Uh, Freeze the former the, yep. the X1 champion, the actual X1 champion. He, he's a strong one. He's a strong one, but he can get uh, into some of those stuff, connection stuff, crashes. So we we we, we hope he he, he gets uh, back on track. Yeah, absolutely. Bull Beast. Meanwhile, while we were we were talking about uh, Frisdy, Bull Beast, our championship leader, top of the uh, top of the timesheets at the moment with a one twenty nine, two three eight. So, it's, um, very strong lap time there for the uh, championship leader uh here's 
uh, Sasha, who managed to get pole position uh, last uh, in the first race of the season, uh, back at the uh, circuit of the Americas. Sasha uh, still holds the record for the youngest ever uh, X1 winner. And he'll definitely be out with um, a lot of momentum after the uh, strong start to the season he has had so far. And Sasha, there we go. What I mean that that's a, that's a strong time there. A one twenty nine two three zero that puts him top of the timesheet at the moment. Frizzy still in the pits. He hasn't uh, he hasn't come out yet. But as I say that, we can I can see a Mercedes starting to make their way towards the end of the pit lane. That is Frizzy starting to come out now. Zola is starting his. Uh, hot lap. Starfish retiring from the session. He's happy with his time. We've got a handful of drivers still to set a lap time. Waldo, Andrea, Frisdi, Zola, Smooth. Uh, and with Waddington right now, our first ever X1 champion winning the championship in Mexico. The home of uh, the XRL. And that will be the end of May for the anniversary uh, week for that and it's going to be a big giveaway for the, um for that so Waddington gets himself into the top 10 with a 130.376 Alex might Alex might be worried Alex might be worried at this point because uh, Matrix has just gone ahead of him as well Alex might get knocked out here at such an early stage in qualifying Hurricane can he cook up a storm on the grid yes he can he puts himself into 8th and the further Alex drops down the order, the more likely it is he's going to get eliminated from qualifying. Andrea, meanwhile, he's about to finish his first lap of the day. I mean, Waldo was 135.6. That was just an exploratory lap for him. So, last time out, uh, Sasha took the win with Starfish in second and Bull Beast rounding up the podium. So two third places for Bull Beast, uh, giving him the lead in the championship. And Andrea just gets himself ahead of Alex with a 130.6. Gabo happy with his time. I believe Alex is going to he retired from the session because he's going to serve the quali ban penalty that he got from. Uh... From... Yeah, but you know, if he was if he was serving a qualifying ban, he shouldn't have set a lap time to begin with. Exactly. No, uh, because he got he got it right now that because of cutting the corners. That's what I mean. Oh. Right. So Sola has given him the chance to serve it like this week. Uh, wow. I, I think that's a good call. We should have uh, yeah. We should have lives lives towards to be honest. But that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It will but, be fantastic. Um, Imagine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but we'll. Um, but yeah, anyway, here comes Smooth, and he gets himself into twelfth with a one thirty point five. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Ugh, yikes! Hay fever season just around the corner. Not yeah. pleasant, <laughs> but uh, what? What else can you do? <laughs> Uh, I'm, the same, yeah. I'm the same man. <laughs> yeah. It's April and yeah. March and April and I start sneezing all the way. Uh, yeah. Especially when you have those sneezing fits where you're having several all at once and you're just like, oh when is this gonna end? Frisdy, meanwhile, round the last corner. What can he pull out of the bag here? Is he gonna get back? And uh, there we go, top of the timesheet, it's a 120, that's a, wow, that's a huge lap to kick off proceedings for our this defending champion, a 120, that's only Q1, and he's already into the 28s. And there we go, and that, and that's, and that's Alex out of qualifying anyway, because that's him now out with, um, the Alfa Romeo of, uh, Waldo. 
getting himself a 130.2. And that time has knocked Alex out of uh, qualifying, which, if anything, is probably a blessing in disguise because with him cutting the corners, serving to qualify. Uh, so you could see effectively a black flag from uh, qualifying. Yeah. If you will, for, for the, was, uh, yeah. the corner cutting. He had a black flag for that corner cutting. Yeah. Yep. That saves me sending that clip in uh, for the uh, stewards to look over. Uh, Sasha saying in the chat, don't worry, I'll get Paul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah. Small challenge with that, you got to make up half that, a second. I would love that because that will be... Uh, Fritik has been practicing a lot. I, I can't say that. Uh, yeah. So someone and that, getting and that him, half second advantage, yeah. that half second advantage has definitely paid dividends for him. Yeah. But Sasha, I'm, 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 I hope you, you, you fight for the, for the pole. That will be great. Yeah. But we also have boobies there. Yeah, uh, not the best of um, not the best of positions for the Alpines to be in at the moment. Fifteenth uh, and seventeenth, at risk of being uh, eliminated from this first part of qualifying. But uh, time will tell if they can improve on those times. I mean, there's not much in it uh, as far as the uh, the drop zone is concerned. Smooth is only a couple of tenths above uh, the drop zone, uh, and there's. And then he's got three tenths between him and uh, Waldo in 11th. So there's not much in it. So it could be anybody's guess as to who is going to get eliminated from this um, first part of uh, qualifying. JBL, meanwhile, he's uh, coming around the last corner now. He's about a tenth and a half up. Is he going to get himself out of the drop zone? He's got a 30.4 to beat. And he get he gets the thirty point oh. four, but he's three hundred he's three hundredths from safety. It's crazy. Uh, Kenzie, do you think we're going to be seeing some twenty sevens? With the pace frizzed he's got, I wouldn't put that past the realm of possibility. Sasha, what do you think about twenty sevens if you're there? <laughs> Is it possible? Uh, smooth, as smooth as egg. Uh, Got himself comfortably into safety. Yeah, uh, yeah, smooth comfortably uh, into Q2. Get himself 11th. CBT. So there we go, check flag is out. Um, so you are allowed to finish the lap you're on, provided you don't invalidate. My Matrix fastest time. Mm -hmm. My, my Q3 yeah. time that got me the P2 in the qualifying yesterday. It was a 29.8, I believe, 29.9. Yeah. These guys are making it in Q1 like it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there we go. That, and that's um, the Matrix not quite not quite safe yet. Smooth is definitely safe. Zola comes in, he retires. Uh, that was uh, CBT that just came through. So uh, Matrix will be safe. Is Warrington going to get eliminated? Nope. JBL invalidated, so that's it. That's quad, that's Q1 out of the way. That's Q1 out of the way. Uh, the first Alpine to be eliminated, and that being uh, JBL. He'll be starting 16th. Alex will be starting in... Alex will be starting in 17th, and Zola will be... Um, 18th Alex and Zola still um, donning the Ukrainian flag for their um, uh, support to those that have been affected by the events that, are, that have been transpiring for the last little while over uh, in Ukraine. So massive props for them for that. Good job, Michael Massey, watching so Alex got pen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michael Massey's yeah. watching. Michael Massey's watching. Yeah, so so just to recap, Frizdy, Sasha, Bullbeast, Starfish, Gabo, Tudor, Andrea, Hurricane, Liam, Trapolos, CVT, Smooth, Waldo, Matrix, and Wellington all through into the second part 
of qualifying. Head over to qualifying session number two. No incidents, right? No incidents this session. Just up, just uh, Ryan cross the pit lane, white line, speeding in the pit lane. No major incidents. Oh, that's that's not a good sign. I think we have got ourselves a glitched lobby. We are sticked here, right? We are stuck. Looks yeah, like we yeah, st yeah, still stuck on the uh, results of uh, Q1 at the moment. So we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll keep you updated uh, if we get any. Let's watch uh, people super license. <laughs> well, we are here. <laughs> I was like, hoops. <laughs> oh, it's not loading. Nine wins online. Uh, social events, this should be nine wins. On practices and everything. Podium finishes, 25, four positions. How many? DRS activated 2,650. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there we, there we go. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. 15,000 kilometers. Sasha has driven 15,000 kilometers. So I guess, I guess how 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 much Sola has. <laughs> Let me check. <laughs> and, and we'll I th see. I think I think he'll I think he'll be somewhere in the region of like 20,000 possibly. <laughs> I'm going to watch him. Let me check real quick. Race director. Oh, so let's not hear. Oh, yeah, he. I yeah. know oh, because uh, there's all got eliminated. How can I see his? Maybe in France. So, like, if you can let us know how many. Kilometer, kilometers you have driven on your super license. That would be great to yeah. see. How many turns <laughs> around the world have you done? I'd be quite impressed. I'd be quite impressed if he actually managed to, if he's managed to hit this sort of mileage. But um, in terms of see, the the equivalent of the um, uh, the equilateral circumference of the Earth, you'd be looking at just over forty thousand kilometers. <laughs> to circumnav to circumnavigate the Earth, that's nearly twenty five thousand miles. I I don't <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, let's see Romania from Romania to what should be fifteen k to France? Nah, from Romania to Paris, how many kilometers is that? That's 2,000 kilometers only, so... From Not Romania bad going. So... To Mongolia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, got to go. Ooh, it looks like... Ooh, this is going to look concerning, because Frisdy's now left the session. That's a little concerning. Uh, but anyway, um, so I've, just, so I've just done a bit of... So I've just done some uh, mathematical work here as well. Now, taking into account... 
that you've got, uh, it's normally 305 kilometers, and it looks like we're having a lobby restart. So, uh, 305 kilometers is the uh, traditional race distance. You'd be looking at the equivalent of, you'd be looking at the equivalent of 131 Grand Prix to circumnavigate the Earth. That's crazy. Yeah, so, so, you, so yeah, based on that, and you've got like uh, 20, uh, 23 races this season. So you'd be looking at six, possibly seven, six and a bit seasons to uh, circumnavigate the Earth, and that and uh, that is including that's taking Monaco into uh, account as well. So we need to see if there is going to be a. But yeah, it's um Yeah, it looks like it has to be um so I'm just double checking. I'm just double checking the Discord right now. Uh, so is it a lobby restart? Yeah, it looks like it's a lobby restart. So um it's um Right. Uh, so we've um. So this uh, because we've got we've got a few issues at the moment, folks. So bear with us. Uh, we've got we've had we've had people leaving the lobby, and we've and now we've got people um, uh, rejoining as well. But. Uh, It's officially over restart. So well, we're not. We're still not one hundred percent certain as of yet. And um, so, so, so I'll I'll see if I can get him in to get some clarification as to what is going. So I'll see. I'll see if I can get Zola in to get some clarification on what is going on at the moment. No, 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 don't, 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 well, just message him, don't include him to the party, because he might be having some trouble. Right. Okay. So, let's see. Everyone has rejoined and work, it, he says. Right, okay, so that's, so that's what he said in the stream chat. Yep. And Matrix is out on track to get... So he's the he's the first one out on track for Q two. So there we go. Looks like we, looks like we're back in business, folks. Everything's good. Uh, let me see. Yeah. So, yes, I was just up. Yes, I'm, yes, I've been keeping. I've been keeping an eye on the uh, uh, the Discord server at the moment, and it looked like some of the drivers had uh, the black screen while getting into Q while getting to the um, uh, the Q two part of the session. So. But like I, said, like I say, it looks like we've got the issue fixed. But we'll um, we'll see what happens. Uh, Tudor saying in, Tudor saying on Discord that he's happy with uh, uh, with his qualifying at the moment. Q two on his debut. Could he get a top ten start possibly? And more importantly. With this part of qualifying, what tyres will he start on if he gets into the top 10? It's all the same in the chat. Everyone needs to leave and rejoin. It's working now if they can't do anything. If they can't, they won't be doing it. They can't do anything. Yet. So they need to... Oh, they're right. starting to go out, so it's all good. Hopefully. So there we go. Looks like we've... 
So there we go. Looks like we've got the issue fixed. Zap. So it looks like the issue we had, uh, like I say, has been fixed. So in this part of qualifying, for those that are new, uh, we lose the slowest five drivers. So that's 11th down to 15th. But those drivers get free choice of tyre, whereas those that are inside the top 10 for the uh, the Q3 pole position shootout, the tyres you set your fastest lap on in this part of qualifying are the tyres you start your race on. So if you set your fastest lap time on the softs, those, those soft tyres that you used would be the tyres that you start the race on. And it looks like Matrix is aiming for a start on the mediums with a 130.8 and look and hang on a second are you are you seeing this uh are you seeing this caesar because it looks like it is starting to cloud over it's get it's got very dark yeah it's very, very dark <laughs> could we see some rain towards the end of qualifying that would be weird the report was saying uh dry all the way this yeah. is so dark. Yeah, that's because because it is very overcast at the moment. Mm. Matrix has set the first lap of uh, Q2 with a 130.8. Who else is on a lap at the moment? Uh, Wellington at 131.0. Uh, Frisbee about to start his lap. Uh, Andrea starting his lap. We've got uh, an Alpha Tauri. That's Waldo starting his lap. Bull Beast next to cross the line. What's he going to set on those mediums? A 130.5. And uh, we've got Ferrari of uh, Liam who invalidated. This is the this is the the, the moment of of the truth. Uh, medium yeah, of medium tires. We're a really good strategy, but yeah. if if the, if the if the driver in front is faster than you, even though in the mediums you're not going to get him on softs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, Chat Paulos goes second with one thirty point six on the mediums. Tudor has gone for the softs. He should get into the twenty nines, and he does by some margin, a one twenty nine two nine four. Absolutely incredible lap for Tudor. That should comfortably see him into the top 10 shootout. The Aston Martin of Starfish, he has uh, invalidated, as has uh, Frisdy. Andrea will be next to cross the line. What time is he going to set? An Italian driver in an Italian team. What can he set? And he goes second with a 130.2. Matrix retires from the session. He's happy with his time. But that's a that's a big risk. Retiring at this early at at this stage in their qualifying because you're gonna have drivers that are gonna be coming out on sauce to try and improve on their lap time, which is gonna push push Matrix down the order. Waddington has done the same. On the mediums. Retiring, they 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 prefer the, the medium strategy. That's it. Maybe they do. That's a. They maybe start at the back. Oh, you cannot do that. Well, it's difficult. You can do it, but it's difficult. The next one, you know. Maybe in some other tiers, you can yeah you can cross around the the field, but getting a position in next one is yeah really absolutely. Mm. Yeah, so there was. Uh... But they are going for the bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who knows? And Frisdy has uh, run out of fuel, so he's going to have to come back in. That's a set of sauce out the window for him, unfortunately. Oh, 
little bit of forest here there for Gabo. Yeah, but he still gets himself into fourth with a 130.2 on the mediums. This is this is this is one of a number of tracks on the calendar where you should be able to comfortably get a one stop done, mediums to softs or softs to mediums. I'm not sure if comfortably. <laughs> I... Oh, and Ryan spawns at the exit of turn two. Oh, that's not what he wanted. But he has. Um... Oh no, that's you, the Mercedes. You can go now, Ryan. Yeah, you can go now. Well, that's He's the, in that's the, the Mercedes. That's... Yeah. yeah, that's Hurricane. Yeah. The but problem, yeah, the problem with with sleeping here, like or getting or uh, losing it, uh, uh, spinning. If you spin, you 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 affect your tires too much. What's up, Sola? What's up, Sola? Right, let me explain what happened then. Yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. So I was sorting out something for X3. Um, okay. Because um, Liam asked me a message, so he invited me to a party. So right. I go in and I and I accept the party invite. And it, then it basically dashboards me and kicks me into his lobby. Oh. So, oh. new glitch That's found. That's bizarre. <laughs> new glitch found. Thanks so yeah, so I, I'm, I'm sorry about that, guys, but literally there was absolutely nothing we can do. So at the moment, Liam Hardman, you are hosting this lobby, so please don't leave. Okay. If, you, if you die, please don't leave. Because at the moment, it's stable at the moment, so we want to try and keep it as it is because the weather forecast will stay the same that way. Okay. So I will message him in a minute, but... So hopefully it should be as it is. If it's dodgy, if any of you if you see anything at the start of the first three or four races, uh, three or four races, three or four laps, like lagging or, or like a like the, the flag glitches everywhere and stuff like that, let me know. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. But unless you see anything major, like do we have a glitches and stuff. Do we, have, do we have a lap limit where we can uh, restart? Or should we have well, a first? Lap it's, it's, it's like it's like the first five six laps, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Something like that. Right. So we'll, 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 go, we'll, go for, we'll go for lap 5 then, if that's the case. Yeah, yeah. So, so at the moment, no one's lagging anywhere, and normally when the host is dodgy or it's having a funny 5 minutes, everyone's lagging everywhere and it's all doing funny stuff, so... It seems to be alright now. No one's lagging for me at all, so... Not I'm on board me. with it. I've no. basically been on board with everyone, so... And the, everyone's yeah, in everything... the session, so... Yeah, everything seems to be smooth on our end as well. Right, so we do apologise about that, but we are back underway. It's a dry race as well. I think it's... It's like a, I think it's like an eight percent chance of rain, so it shouldn't rain either. Okay. But it's France, yeah. so we'll see. <laughs> right. I'll know. catch you guys a bit. Thank you. Okay, man. That Thank was... you very much. That was that. That were the words from uh, the X1 mm. head, uh, F1 head actually, Ooh. or the head of yeah. all yeah. extreme racing leagues, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Michael Massey of Michael uh, the Massey. XRL, if you will. <laughs> yeah. So, last 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 night at the dev, on the Dev League race, we were joking about me and Sola being uh, teammates in the Red Bull, and it's like having oh, Michael yes. Massey and, <laughs> and Liberty Media in, in, the, in the same in the same yeah. team. Yeah. So anyway, so anyway, uh, Matrix and Wellington, they are now out. Uh, Liam in the drop zone now at the moment with uh, the Mercedes of Hurricane just squeezing into the top 10. We've just got Sasha and Frisdy yet to set a lap time. Both are still on course to complete their laps at the moment. Sasha has a 29.2 to beat to get to the top of the timesheets. He needs to get at least a 30.6 to get into the top 10, as does uh, Frisdy, but that will no doubt all change. And Sasha with a 28746 puts him top of the timesheets. Frisdy goes third, a 296 on the mediums. On the mediums, this is going to be interesting. Sasha deciding for the softer. Betting for a safety car, maybe. Yeah, that's that is that is a possibility here. So there we go. At the moment it is Bull Beast, Hurricane, Liam, Matrix, and Waddington that are uh, in the drop zone at the moment, Matrix and Wallington are already out. They're not going to be trying to improve on their lap times. Uh, there we go. And Liam has elected to retire from the session. He's out as well as a result. Now we're just waiting on Bull Beast. Now it'll just be Bull Beast and Hurricane.
what can Hurricane do? And there we go. He pushes Starfish into the drop zone. Trap Polos. He might be in trouble here. Starfish only needs three thousandths to knock Trap into the drop into the uh, drop zone. I was deciding for the soft tire strategy also. And that's given him a 29. So he's currently got a 29-2 at the moment. Sasha retires from the session. There we go. 29-2 for Gabo. He's happy with his time. So that, so that should see him safely through Starfish already. 3 tenths up, but his uh, mediums are a few laps old. Bull Beast, meanwhile, on a, very, on a fresh set of softs. So it's a very, it's going to be a very mixed uh, top 10. And, oh, and Starfish. Oh, he's got, oh, he's stuck. He's out now. He's... And that's, and that's Starfish, that, and that's Starfish out. Starfish is out of qualifying. He got disqualified. Uh, no, he's um, no, he's, he he must have had an incident. He's in love you. And that has. Oh, that's a real shame. That is a real shame for Starfish. Bull Beast gets himself into second with a 129-1, only four tenths behind Sasha. So it's just going to be Frizdy, Andrea, and Hurricane all starting on the mediums. Everybody else in the top 10 will be starting on the softs. So there we go. Sasha, Bull Beast, Gabo, Tudor, then Frisdy, Andrea, CVT, Waldo, Smooth, and Hurricane. Interesting Starfish getting out. Uh, Matrix, Wellington. Well, they decided. Uh, Trapolos also had had a uh, just missed out. Look at the time. Yeah, he missed out by. Uh, six hundredths. Missed out by six hundredths getting into the top ten. But uh, he's actually in the most prime position outside the top ten. Yes. As I say, Hurricane, Frisdy, and Andrea all starting on the mediums. As I say, Tudor, he'll be he'll be very happy with that. His X one debut, and he's going to be starting inside the top ten. Sasha saying in the chat, I just messed up my whole strategy. <laughs> now you have to do a soft a soft medium run. The problem is the mediums oh, I, I, I raised the mediums, with the medium, 85%. The mediums are, I think, but the thing is the mediums are easily a second a lap slower compared to the softs around this track. Yeah, this tra this track eats rubber. It's, it's incredible how how fast the the tires degrade in this lap in this track. Yeah, I think we're stuck. And on, again. And, and on top of that, there isn't. And on top of that, there isn't really much in the way of uh, overtaking opportunities around this track as well. So we've got that to take into account as well. 
There it is. We are moving yeah. on to qualifying session number three. Yeah. 27th? Wait. 27th? What do you guys think? It's, I think we... I think it's it's a possibility with how much uh, with how much the track has rubbered in now, but we'll um, but we'll wait and see. We're de we're, de we're definitely going to get a low twenty eight. We're definitely get a low twenty eight, but we'll see what happens yes. because now is when qualifying gets serious. Who is going to start on pole position? We've got the two pole sitters from the last two races in the top 10 here. And that being Sasha in the Haas and Frisdy in the Mercedes. You've also got the chip you've also got the championship leader Bull Beast in the Alfa Romeo. I mean there could and then of course you've got another you've got a couple of dark horses here. You've got Tudor on his debut. He could be a dark horse and uh, Gabo could potentially cause an upset as well, but we'll cross each of those bridges when we get to them. A majority of the drivers out on track now. Uh, Wanting to say in 27-6 for Paul. That could be great. That'd be fantastic. Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big ask. That is a big, big ask. It would be fantastic. Yeah. It's either Frizzy or Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Bullbeast can make. Cool. Well, that, can, well, can surprise that, us. That, that's why I. That's why I included Bullbeast because I'm not. I'm not counting him out at the moment. This is the first driver that's going to be getting the fast lap. He's going to be starting. Yep, he'll be the first one to start. So, it's right on board. So we've got. Uh, so as, as Lopez said earlier. It's a shorter count. It's a shorter season this time around. Only 13 races. No room for error. Otherwise, it's game over for the championship. And next week, we are going to be heading to Silverstone for the British Grand Prix. So, That's pretty Silverstone... much the second home of the Extreme Racing Leagues. <laughs> yes, yes. Especially given, especially given that a majority of the drivers here in XRL are from uh, the UK as well. Yeah, we should make something. And that's yeah. the birthday of my little girl, too. <laughs> the 23rd, ah. 23rd of April. She's turning one year. Ah. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, again, this is this is for this is for those that are new to the league. Uh, uh, Caesar's. Um, Caesar's a devoted family man, as well, uh, helping raise his uh, little youngster while helping with uh, the XRL uh, and at the do, same time as well. Yeah, do you know a, a funny fact? Uh, the next weekend is the Emilia Romagna GP, and my yes, <laughs> my girl is called Emilia. <laughs> ah, right, yes. Emilia Lopez. Yeah, Emilia Lopez, that's her name. Oh, that's fantastic. Frisdy, <laughs> meanwhile, a 28.5, first lap of uh, Q3, and we've I think we've had a spin. No, that's uh, Tudor. That's Tudor just coming into the pits. Andrea, 29.1. Here CVT comes Bullbees. What can to... he set? Oh. And he gets only a 29.0. Some people that's going huge. into the pits. Uh, Tudor, CVT, and Hurricane. Uh, Waldo had invalidated. Smooth about to start his lap. Let's see what Gabo can do. It's a very quick middle sector. I'll be right back. Right here. And he crosses the line. That's a 29-0. 200, just under two hundredths behind Bull Beast. Here comes Sasha. What can he set? He gets himself another 29-0. So Sasha, Bull Beast, and Gabo all just half a second behind Frisdy.
the Frisdy will be happy with that because it also means he'll be it'll be a bonus point for him for starting on pole. So at the moment it is Frisdy on pole, smooth coming down the track now that's a 31-2 for him not his best time of the day at the moment but he'll be happy that he's got an Alpine in the top 10 we're just halfway through Q3 at the moment Tudor and Hurricane Tudor and Hurricane both on outlaps at the moment. You got Waldo, Tudor, CVT, and Hurricane all yet to set a lap time. See what Tudor can pull out of the bag. Meanwhile, on our sister channel, Extreme Underscore Racing Underscore Leagues, the qual uh, the race will be getting underway for them in just a few minutes' time. And that's yellow flags, that's the yellow flags, and that's for Hurricane. And that was on his hot lap as well, that's not what he would have wanted. Wide entries into these, uh, into this sequence of corners. So just a couple to go now. And he comes into the pits, interestingly. He hasn't got much time. He hasn't got much time left before... So he, has, he doesn't have much time left before... So he doesn't have much time left before... Um, uh, Q3 is done and dusted. Frisdy staying in the pits for the time being. And letting Sasha, Bull Beast, and Gabo put more rubber down on the track. Here we go, and it looks like, yep, yeah, there we go. We've got the Mercedes of Frisdy coming out now. Three minutes to go. Bull Beast will be starting his hot lap shortly as well. And oh, and Andros got spinning. Oh no, that's the last thing he needed. And I don't think he's going to have time. He's not going to have enough time to come back in. Two and a half minutes left. Oh, and he's got spinning again. I think that's, that's his qualifying done. I think that's his qualifying done. That is a real, real shame there for Andrea. Waldo invalidating, as has CVT. Gabo just getting out of the way of the Alpine of Smooth, who is on an outlap. And as I say, that is it for Andreas qualifying. 
Waldo about to cross the line now. He's invalidated. He has time for one more lap. Uh, Bull Beast having a bit of uh, a squirrely moment on the uh, last corner. Is he going to improve on his time? He does, but he's only a thousandth ahead of Sasha. And Sasha has invalidated, but he's got time. Sasha has time to set another lap. It's just Waldo, Tudor, CBT, and Hurricane that are yet to set a lap time. Oh, Boy, it is all kicking off in X3. It has all kicked off in X3. They're having to do a restart. Oh, good lord. Nevertheless, here we go. CVT round the last corner. Sasha is about to finish his lap as well. He invalidated, but he's going for one more lap. CBT across the line. What can he set? A 130.077. He'll start no better than sixth at the moment. I don't think he's got enough fuel or ERS to take care of uh, proceedings. Hurricane has started his lap. Waldo starting his lap. There we go. Checker flag is out. Frizzy is the one to watch. Here comes Bull Beast. Smooth is going to finish his time. He goes with a 130.024. Can Bull Beast deny Frizzy pole position here? Here he comes. He doesn't improve. That is a huge moment there. That is huge. Tudor start. Tudor fifth for the time being, and Frizzy with a 128. Three six three, and it looks like as it stands, it will be back to back pulls for Frizzy. Bull Beast could three. not improve on his lap time, and Sasha's gone spinning at the last corner, oh. and that all but guarantees. That Frizzy will take back to back pole positions. Now, uh, Hurricane, where can he put himself? Hurricane down the main straight. What can he do? He goes seventh with a 129.7. <laughs> you can see, look at the times of P2, P3, and P4. And P5. Yeah. And P6. Zero 29029, 29030, 29072, 29101, less than a tenth separating <laughs> second, third, fourth, and fifth. Damn. That's crazy. But Frizzy will be grinning ear to ear with that one. He will be starting pole position for the second race running. In the medium tires. Yeah, that'll be a huge... Yeah, so that's the big advantage he will have as well. Real shame that Bull Beast could not improve on his lap time. And look at look at the advantage Frizzy had over everybody else. Six tenths, but oh, oh, the irony of that gap between Frizzy and Bull Beast right now. Does he just look at the numbers? The irony oh, of six, the six. gap. <laughs> yes. I think Bull Beast. <laughs> I think Bull Beast is about to unleash his beast. Yeah. When the race gets underway. But nevertheless, Frizzy, Bull Beast, Sasha, Gabo, Tudor, fifth in qualifying on his debut. Can he convert that into a strong race result on his debut?
time will tell. We've got Andrea alongside him. Then you've got Hurricane, Waldo, Smooth, and CVT. So we're running a few minutes late because we had a number of technical difficulties throughout uh, the start of Q2. Uh, but nevertheless, we'll be getting underway for the race in a few minutes' time, which gives us time to talk about our sponsors. Are you looking for a more realistic F1 feel in your sim racing? ANSI 3D is the solution for you. ANSI 3D is a 3D printing company based in the United States. We sell F1 style wheels for Logitech G29, G920, and the G923 wheel set with all wheels including high quality real suede fabric on the handles for maximum comfort. All wheels can be fully customized by picking your own colors for the handles and buttons. Also, you get to select a free logo of your choice to be printed on your wheel. We also have all Formula One 3D printed tracks available for sale on our website. For more information or to place your order now, log on to our website at www.ansi3d.com. That's A-N-S-E 3D.com. Don't delay, check us out today. second it should be on screen right now yep it is uh, just i cannot click i don't know why what's going on where's my mouse my mouse disappeared yeah. <laughs> ah not ideal but um but as you see on screen right now that's uh Oh, it's back. Uh, we have Driver61 as, a, as, a, as one of our sponsors. So go to sra.driver61.com. Try to see, uh, learn, go to the Drivers University. And, 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 and I highly recommend you guys to, to, to look at these videos, okay? Uh, sra.driver61.com or driver61.com slash uni. There you can go for the Drivers Sim University. And let's go with Kenzie for the Easter sale and daily deals and recommendation of the week. Of yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah so, so, so we're going to try and get through this as quickly as we can. Uh, with, so there's a lot on offer here for the Easter sale right now. It's, it finishes at 3 p.m. UK time uh, tomorrow, Easter Monday. And there's a lot here. You've got Elden Ring, Lego Star Wars, Ghostwire Tokyo, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, Mario Kart, Grand Theft Auto, uh, Hell Let Loose, Seven Days to Die, Animal Crossing, Escape from Tarkov, which you've which you mentioned earlier. That's well. a fantastic that... game, Escape from Tarkov. Uh, it's for yeah. PC. It has thirty five percent. If you can get it, that's well, that would be fantastic because it's a fantastic yeah. game. Um, it's pretty much it's similar to Warzone but more tactical. Yeah, uh, Minecraft, The Sims, Animal Crossing as well, Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, Borderlands, there is a lot here as well. You've got 66% off Hitman 3 uh, right now on PC as well. I'll say that's just a, num that's just, uh, a number of the uh, uh, discounts that you can get in the Easter sale right now. And some of them are actually here in the, uh, the daily deals uh, as well. You've got Escape from Tarkov at 35% off. 80% off uh, Outriders on PC as well. No Man's Sky, 73% off. 36% off Hell Let Loose. And Tiny Tina's Wonderland, the Chaotic Great Edition, on PC with 21% off. Now, I had a pre-order as the recommendation last week, and I've got another one this week, mainly for something I managed to achieve overnight with the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection. This is a pre-order on PC. It is available right now on PlayStation 5 if you guys have a PS5. This is a remaster of Uncharted 4 A Thief's End plus the spin-off game Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Now, this, this is both games remastered 
for uh, PS5. And it is, um, and the main reason I'm recommending this is because I managed to get the platinum for Uncharted 4 just last night. So Ooh. that's that is the latest platinum in my uh, collection. I just need to get started on getting the platinum for Uncharted: The Lost Legacy, but that will come at some point in the next couple of weeks. But nevertheless. My, le- my recommendation of the week is the pre-order for the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection on PC, which is a remaster of Uncharted 4 and The Lost Legacy. Nevertheless, here come the lights. We're going to head straight back to trackside. You guys know what time it is. It's lights out and it's race time here at Paul Ricard. Bull Beast already off to and a phenomenal start. And that has just put him... Possibly into the lead already. Fristy and Bulby side by side as they go to turn one. Sasha wants a piece of the action as well. And I think Sasha's managed to get himself ahead. Yes, he has. Gabo gets himself ahead as well. Fristy is plummeting down the order. Fristy's not had the best of starts. Bullbeast into the lead. Sasha in second. Gabo currently third. Here comes Tudor about to take the defending X1 champion. What a statement this would be if he were to beat the defending X1 champion as they head down the DRS back straight at the start of sector two. Wally does not have the best of starts. He's gone up to, he's in uh, 14th though, started 15th. Zola, he's dropped down to Stone Dead last, well, I think he started last anyway, but nevertheless, Smooth getting himself ahead of Matrix. Waldo and Andrea battling over 6th and 7th place, but Frisdy started on pole, and he's now down in 5th place. That is a horrific start for our pole sitter. And, and the, the- the sky is very dark. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be an overcast race by by, by the sounds of it. Yeah. But I'll say that. But I'll say the advantage of starting on the soft tyres, it's definitely paid dividends as Gabo has got himself ahead of Sasha into P2. So now to attack, not time to attack Bull Beast. Yeah, I say Gabo, a man on a mission here. And, as, and, and I said, based on the gap between... Bull Beast and Frisdy at the end of qualifying, 0.666. Bull Beast definitely unleashed the beast within him, and Gabo, for some reason, has no helmet. <laughs> that f- the famous glitch where you've got drivers going around the track without a helmet on. <laughs> and mind true. you, I think, hang on, I think Bull Beast doesn't. Have, oh no, Bull Beast has his helmet on, thankfully. But, uh, but I say Gabo. Gabo doesn't have his helmet on. <laughs> Sasha's going for a run on Gabo. It's not going yeah, to be but he's enough. a little bit too far behind at the moment. And that's Alex. Oh, and Alex is gone. Oh. That's Alex out of the race. First DNF, and that's a virtual safety car. Not sure what happened with Alex, but... That is our first DNF of the day. Whether he made contact with somebody or... It looked like contact between both of them. Let's see the replay. You can see them on the... on the. Uh, I, I was getting Sasha's video, I believe. And you can see them at the back. Look at... at, at it's going to be a moment there where you go. can see. At the bottom. It's a Ferrari and... and do you see that? It's just for a second or something. Hmm. Yeah, so difficult, difficult to see what difficult to see what happened at that point. But uh, nevertheless, uh, nevertheless, we're back on the way. Matrix and Wellington battling over thirteenth place at the moment. Waldo and Hurricane for seventh. And there we go. Lap three. DRS is now enabled. Oh, having some funny stuff here with the times. Yeah, uh, because because on my screen it's showing that Waddington is thirteenth at the moment. Okay, but anyway, a um, here for, for the DRS. Yeah, absolutely. There we go. But this is gonna this is gonna be a massive boost for him because. Uh, here we go. He's gonna giving him. Giving each other as much room as possible. And oh, hang on! Sasha trying to go around the outside as we go on board with Tudor. Sasha storms through and gets himself into second place. Now, Gabo wants to. Looks like Hamilton and <laughs> Paris. That fight there. Gabo <laughs> was not 
Uh, well, they no. by the outside here. Not able to make it stick at the moment. So they say this is definitely going to be a great battle between these three uh, for the race lead for the time being. But I think Tudor will definitely want a piece of the action at some point. Gabo still trying to get alongside Sasha as they head into the uh, penultimate sequence of corners. Not able to make anything of it at the moment. There we go, Sasha, Tudor, Frizzy, meanwhile. Because they're the fastest, this is still early stages yet, but as it stands, Frizzy does have the fastest lap of the race. In the mediums. Yeah. Interesting. Um, very true. So lap four of uh, 27, Bull Beast leading from the start at the moment. You've got the top five all within DRS range of each other. Let's go to the five. Look, everyone's on, everyone's on DRS. Here we go. Look yeah, at the Sasha minimap. Not able to make any. It's fantastic. Yeah, you've got a, you've got a lot of DRS. And you guys are, oh, it's actually gone spinning. Oh no! What on earth happened? I think there was contact between him and Gabo. And Sasha plummeting down the order is not what he wanted at all. Oh, this is going, this and that has a, dropped this him. Be a penalty. Yeah, that has dropped Sasha outside of the points now. He did not lose any any any. Doesn't look like he took any. It doesn't look like he took any damage uh, at the moment. But uh, but that is a real shame. But Sasha he had such a good start as well, and now he's going to need to carve his way through the field. Interestingly, Liam electing to start on the hearts. Oh. Interestingly. I remember what you said yesterday. I'm never going to be any way near the car tires. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. In yes, this I game, ref I refuse. Yes, I refuse to use the hard tires under any circumstances. <laughs> yeah, that was the one. <laughs> Which dragon replied and, uh, with a? <laughs> remember what he said? He was like, "Oh God." He replied with uh, one of the of the jokes. Yeah. And there we go, Gabo. Get... Get... Oh, that's okay. Gabo, and that's him into the lead. What a start to the race that Gabo has had, and he is now leading the race. If Gabo leads, and Trapol as well. Meanwhile, his teammate, his teammate's gone spinning, and he's now second to last at the moment. That is not. I'll say so mixed fortunes for the Red Bulls at the moment. If if Gabo leaves one lap, uh, this will be the first time two Mexicans lead two different races for one lap at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because because Lopez because Lopez folks has led <laughs> Lopez has led um a race previously uh this season as well. Yesterday. I led for yeah, one, just one or two laps only. I just yesterday, in fact, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so now Gabo just needs to try and keep track position. But Bobby sees uh, what his name. He, he makes honor to his name. He's a beast on track. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Keeping within half a second of Gabo ahead of him. Okay, so the times say Warrington is P1 now. Oh no, it's fixed now. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there we go. Here comes the DRS. Will it be enough? Oh, that's that's clever from Gabo using the uh, the inside line to defend the corner. That's that's great defending there from Gabo. Now Bobby has, has a better exit there. Yeah, he did have the better exit, but not quite able to take full advantage of it as of yet. As they're coming up towards turns 9 and 10. It looks like uh, Bull Beast is going to have to stay behind Gabo for the time being. Frisky's got himself back up into third place, getting himself ahead of Tudor in the meantime.
Sasha getting himself back. Sasha starting to make his way back through the field. Meanwhile, he's back up into ninth at the moment. But here we go, about to cross the line, and Gabo has led a full lap in X1, and he'll be happy about that without question. CBT already in. Now, whether that's going to be a front wing change on top of the tires remains to be seen. Is it going to be a front wing change or is it going to be... No, it's just a tire change. Just and that's change. straight onto the hards. Straight onto the hards. Can he get those to the end from here? I think so. 20 laps in the hards. It's possible. Yeah, the 20 laps def it's going definitely to be slow, sounds doable. But possible. Yeah, because yeah, his because his race will come later on at this point. All I can say is thank goodness I'm keeping my Easter eggs for uh, for after the race. Otherwise, my vocal cords wouldn't be at 100% because of the chocolate clogging up the system. <laughs> now, JVL and, and Matrix having a fun battle here. Yes, uh, this is for 13th place at the moment. But of course, it's a traditional scoring system, folks. 25 for a win, 18 for second, 15 for third, and so on, down to one point for uh, 10th place. But we have bonus points for fastest lap inside and outside the top 10 as well. And here we go. Oh, Gabble, first of the front runners in. Gabble going in. He's the first of the front runners into the pits. It's a slow speed limit here with uh, just a speed limit of seven, uh, 60 kilometers an hour, which is about 37 miles an hour. Uh, Sasha and Smooth coming in as well. Looks like Gabo is going to try and undercut the front runners of uh, Tudor and Bull Beast. Waldo yet to pit as well. Sasha going for the cards. Interesting. Looks choice. like he's going to try and go to the end as well. I yes, I think. I think if you're uh, if you're going for the mediums at this early stage in the race, I think you're probably going to be looking at. Um, I think you're probably looking at realistically a two stop around here. Hurricane meanwhile gets himself ahead of Andrea, into fourth place as Bull Beast. That could be crucial for the race result. Picks up a penalty for track limits. Ooh. That could be crucial. Liam and Wellington battling for 8th place at the moment. Bulbis going into the pits. Yeah, there we go. Bulbis and Tudor... Uh, oh, yeah, Bulbis and Tudor following suit. Waldo elected now, what... to stay out. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, Waldo isn't... Waldo, of course, not going to be battling for... Uh, the race win today, unless we have a massive exodus of uh, DNFs towards the tail end of uh, the race. But Bull Beast and Tudor, different strategies, interestingly. One going for hard, the other going for mediums. And the undercut has worked for Gabo, and Zola is ahead of the two of them as well. In the medium tires. Interesting. Because Zola and Bull Beast, they, well, not Bull Beast, but maybe Zola and Gabo will have to beat again i'm not sure yeah i, th I think zola's going to try and stretch his ties as long as he can but uh, the important thing for gabba is that he has now got some breathing room between himself and bull beast and tudor behind him a little further ahead meanwhile starfish and hurricane battling with andrea for second place at the moment and th and the more these guys battle the the better it's looking for Frizzy, as that's allowing him to extend his lead over these three at the moment. I think Walt, I think Waldo's going to need to come in uh, at the end of this lap because I think those sauce are starting to. I think those sauce have gone at this point. Yeah, we'll see what eight he does. Laps, probably you can make nine. Yeah, he's going in. There we go. Last of the soft runners in. Is he going to go for mediums or is he going to go for the hard to try and get to the end? 
There we go, and Chuck Polos, he's coming! Only, only nine laps on those mediums. Now, is that going to be a front wing change? I wonder. No, it's not. That's mediums to hards. And Gabo sets himself the fastest lap of the race so far. And as I say that, Sasha takes it from him. There we go. Uh, yellow flag to sector one. And that's Matrix that's gone spinning. Nothing major. Just a spin. Yeah. But it does allow Gabo to get within DRS range of him. English saying, how is Wellington P1? No, no, he's P17. <laughs> it Wait. fixed. Wait. Where should I go? Oh, and Matrix had another spin as well. There we go. Gabo gets himself... Gets himself there. Tudor, meanwhile, gets himself ahead of Bullpies thanks to the DRS. Yeah, yeah, English. It's 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 tricky sometimes. The the time, the timing uh, table gets crazy. <laughs> yeah. So we're almost halfway through the race at the moment. Currently lap 10 of 27. Sasha gets ahead of Matrix for P12. Now he has Zola in front, who's not going yeah, to make absolutely. it easy for him. Yeah, Zola definitely won't make it easy for him. You've still got a three-way dance here for second place between Andrea, Starfish, and Hurricane, all of all of whom are yet to pit at the moment. The gaps remaining static at the moment at 3.6 seconds between Frisbee, uh, Frisbee and this battle for uh, second place. Matrix comes in. He's, it looks like he's going to try and go for sauce to the end as well. Starfish got himself ahead of Andrea for, sec uh, for second place, but at, the, at a consequence, Andrea is going to get that second place back because Andrea has the DRS, says, thank you very much, I'll have a bit of that, and he gets himself back into second place. Yes, I think I know what's happening. Once Frizzy gets crosses the line, uh, Wellington gets the P1 once Frizzy crosses the line because he... I'm not sure if the game thinks... He's, he's right there, but mm. but once yeah. uh, Wellington crosses the line, then it, it all fixes up. <laughs> because, yeah, he got P1 again for a second. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. But, well, uh, we, massive, we've, we've seen Wellington on P1 multiple times. He even He's even our yeah. X1 champion, the first world ever X1 champion. Yeah, and, he's, and not just that, he's also got two X1 Constructors Championships That's true. to his name. So uh, he might, as well, he might one be, with he, Red Bull and one with Haas. So he, he be, definitely has the, he's got the experience and the success to show that he is capable of being at the front. But it's just with this new crop of talent that has come through, uh, it's difficult. It's been difficult for him to try and get back to the front and stay there. Now, Kenzie, is he the most successful driver in XRL? I don't. Well, actually, no, he's not because um, because it's uh, Sack, I believe, because he's got two X1 drivers championships on top of the two constructors championships he has as well. Sack so has I think two he's the one. No. Yeah, because yeah. he yeah because he got back to back. Drivers champions, no. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Ooh. seasons two and three. The latter of which being in very dramatic circumstances in Brazil, might I add. Well, then it, uh, he's just probably the second, <laughs> second successful driver, second most successful yeah. driver. I say, but yeah, so because reg then regardless, Zach, of, well, that's, regardless that's of where he's ranked, I didn't expect that. Yeah. And, uh, that's good. Yeah, but but I'm saying. As I was saying, regardless of where he's ranked in terms of success, you can't deny that he has been successful throughout his career here in X1. Yeah, exactly. I would, I, I would love to win a race in X1. But, you know, he won a championship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would be so happy and full if if if, if I win a race in X1, but that's far from happening. Again. Oh, JBL in the pits, first of the medium runners. Well. First of, the, first of the main medium runners, here we go, that's him, hard to the end. 
by the looks of it. The gap between Frisdy and this uh, Frisdy and Starfish now is up to five seconds as we are approaching half distance. And that is a spin. And that is uh, Tudor. That is, a lot, that is the last thing he needed. Yep. Now, when you spin, the tires are going to be crazy because of that blue uh, zone. It's very, it's very bad to your tires. Yeah, that is a real that is a real shame uh, for Tudor at the moment. But uh, but, uh, with it, but as I said, with his with it being his first with it being his first X1 race, everything's a learning experience for him. Yeah. How how many time do you lose in the in the pit stop? Do you remember? Um. Around twenty five seconds. Much? Uh, you'd be looking at round about that. You'd be looking at round about that. Yes. Scabo is now 18 seconds behind Frisdy. So this might be interesting. Uh, Frisdy might be looking to pit until lap 19. He will get the softs. It will be great if we can use the... We have a driver comparison to see how fast is one driver compared to another. That would be great. Yeah, that would that would be pretty cool, absolutely. Goldmasters, I have a great, I have a great, I, I have a lot of ideas for the multiplayer sessions. <laughs> 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 the race director role, with the red flags including it, the capability of giving penalties, a, a commentator's role, you know, that would be great. Yeah. Not just spectator in general, you know. Give give something to a spectator to make to, to 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 make it more interesting. Late safety car, you know, safety car button. <laughs> yeah, time will tell if time time will tell if that does come to fruition. Yeah, English saying it might affect the finishing results. Yeah, yeah, we're keeping an eye on it because. Uh, as I don't know if you've noticed, but once Frisdy mm -hmm. crosses the line, it happens. Uh, yeah. But we we know we know where he we try to know where he is right now. Right, we'll go. Yeah. Oh, here we go. That's Andrea in. That's Andrea in. 14 laps on those mediums. Um, yeah, exactly. So I've just, I've just so I've just checked it, and you're looking at losing about 30 seconds. 30. Oh. Uh, make 30 seconds, about half a minute, making a stop round here. So if Frizzy were to pit now, he would uh, be borderline top 10 if he were to pit now. So he would have to get a 10 second gap on Gabo. Effectively, yes. So, and right now the gap between him and between Frizzy and uh, Gabo is 19 seconds at the moment. So... So another 10, 11 seconds for Frisdy to make, uh, to build the, if he needs to build an, uh, an extra 10, 11 seconds to be able to come in, make his pit stop and maintain a uh, track position ahead of Gabo. But it doesn't look like that's going to be happening at the moment because Gabo's just got himself ahead of uh, Waddington for fourth place and Liam wants a piece of the action as well, as does Bullbeast. Waldo gets himself ahead of Tudor into that last points-paying position in the top 10. And Gabo and Liam... Oh, my word! Oh, my goodness! Hey, Gabo, Waddington, and Liam all almost side-by-side side with each other. My goodness! Man. Oh! Oh, contact between Liam and Bullbeast, and Liam's gone spinning. Oh! Oh, that was... That was a bit of a... That was a bit of a scary moment there for uh, for Liam. Could be a penalty for Bulbies, not sure. Yeah, not being aware of his... Uh, uh, Thanks, English, for letting us know that. We will check it, man. Yeah. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, there we go. And uh, Liam's having to come in. I think he's got damage. Yeah, I think that's definitely going to be a penalty. Because... So it's, uh, yeah, I, th I think that's definitely going to be a penalty because uh, I think that is damage. No, it's not. No, it's not. He's coming in just to change his tires. Now, now, now he should he should be able to. 
he should be able to get to the end at this point. I mean, uh, 11, 12 laps on those mediums at this late stage in the race. Yeah, definitely, doable. definitely, definitely. And and with good with good tire wear, it, you won't be very bad at, at the end. Interesting here, Bulbis on the hearts, Gabo in the mediums. They are now, uh, phew, I can't tell. 12 seconds? No, I cannot tell uh, until Wellington crosses the line. Gabo is 12 so, seconds behind. For, uh, no, this is not correct. Well, he's on, uh, 19 seconds. Yeah, he's, yeah, Gabo's almost 20 seconds behind Frisdy at the moment. Uh, Wellington only a second or two behind uh, Gabo. So I'm, I'm going by what's on my screen at the moment. Uh, Hurricane in the pits. Now, that looks like it's going to be... Oh, hello! 10 laps in the top well, there, stars. There's your one-stop medium to soft. So it is possible. Yeah, that's the one I did yesterday. I was about to get a podium, but something happened. Someone said, e nope, you're not getting a podium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just leave it at <laughs> let's just leave it at that. Yeah, le definitely. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Move swiftly on. Yeah. Uh, Ryan just well, Tudor just came across uh, Ryan, uh, but Ryan will have the soft, the new soft tire and the DRS zone. Real, he he will definitely Absolutely. get the he, position here. Yeah, he's gonna be at a huge. Advantage here. Liam picks up a penalty for track limits. And there we go. Nothing Tudor can do about that hurricane comfortably into P8. Now, we've seen Ryan, the Mercedes, uh, pitting. When is Frizzy pitting? He's pitting now. He there just, we go. He just, he just got into the pits. Where okay, is well, he going to well, come? Well, he's going to have to. Well, he's, well, he would have had to have followed suit to prevent himself from being cut off by Hurricane. Starfish comes in as well, and that's going to put Gabo back into the lead of the race. But with 10 laps to go, can Gabo keep race position? Because Frisdy is going to have a huge advantage over Bull Beast on the hards at the moment. And there we go. There we go. There goes Gabo. Is Bull Beast going to get ahead? Yes, he is. Uh, Wellington, not quite, but you've got Sasha battling him for fourth place, and Gabo, that's crucial! Oof, yes, Gabo, a penalty is. for track limits! So, basically, right now, uh, Freezy is leading the race. Yeah, on penalty count back. Ten lap all mediums, nine lap all hard tires, zero lap all softs. What can you do against yeah. that? It's going to be the gap was not that big. I thought it was going to be bigger. We got Matri and Matrix gets a penalty for track limits now. So there we go, Frizzy quickly catching up to uh, Bull Beast and Gabo ahead of him. And you can you can see already the advantage Frizzy has with more grip in those softer tires compared to those ahead of him. Yeah, he's really close, Bull Beast now, and he's getting a good, some very good exits. Going, Gabo going into the pits. Yep, there we go. Gabble following suit. He's going for softs as well. One's the fastest lap, probably. Well, he's going to need to beat Hurricane's time uh, to get it. Freezy's right behind Bull Beast. Yeah, this. Yeah, so I think this is. I think this is going to be. Yeah, I think this is going to be an old brain who's going to come out on top here. Yeah, he don't need, he he doesn't even need the DRS. Oh, there he goes. And Frizzy back into the lead of the race. <laughs> oh, 
after being booted down to fifth at the start, Frizdy is now back in the lead of the race. Wild one, Tudor, keep fighting. <laughs> this guy's been fighting for some time now. Yeah, for, yeah, this is a great battle between these two. This is for eighth place between them. Yellows. And we've got yellow, yellow flight in sector two. That was the McLaren. I think that was Zola. I'm not sure what's happened with him. He has a puncture. Zola has a puncture. And he's got a puncture. Oh, that's huge. Front left puncture. That is huge. And he's still got about half a lap to do before he gets to the pits. That is... Frizzy, there we go. Fastest lap of the race. And and Waddington, Waddington has seen what's happened. Waddington has been made aware. Waddington must have been aware. But Waddington must have been made aware of what's happened to his teammate. And he's not taking any chances. Waddington playing safe. Coming in for those softs. Oh, he wants to be lapped, I believe, to fix the, the lobby. He's going slow. Um. Oh, no. Ooh. That was scary. Oh, that's, uh... Okay, I think that's pretty much ended any hope Zola has... Zola had of getting any points today. And you can actually see the sparks just coming off his car. And here he goes into the pits. Takes out the marker board for good measure. <laughs> he can't... And he can't even... He can't even get up to the 37 miles an hour. There we go. He gets up to the 37 now. And he's going for hards, interestingly. Has he run out of softs? Probably. So you got a you got an app, you got a huge mix of tires at the moment. You've got Frizzy, Hurricane, Starfish, Gabo, and Wellington all on softs. You've got Waldo Smooth. Liam and Tudor on mediums and everybody else on hards. I mean, Frisbee's gap, 3.6 between him and uh, Bull Beast, but that gap continuing to grow. Hurricane might be able to sneak himself a podium here if he's lucky. That's true. Also mind, also mind you, at the moment, if Gabo can start closing that gap, he might still be possibly in contention for a strong finish here, but time will tell if that is the case. Oh, looks like Waddington's having some... Well, we've seen these problems before during the whole race, but he was getting blue flags and now suddenly he, he's not getting blue flags. So he has a big X on my screen, so I'm not sure what's going on. He's maybe the mm. He probably needs to get to let Ryan past. Because he's actually on a blue flag. Yeah, so there we go. Um, the Frizzy, Frizzy is now starting to catch up to uh, Zola. So there we go. And uh, I, th I, think, I think that decision was... I think that decision was made uh, on the Zola's part and not uh, McLaren's. Hard tyres, and that means, there we go, he's getting lapped. Onto the softs to the end. Not a great day for yeah, McLaren's. It's, uh, it's been a race to forget for them. Five laps to go after this one, and... Freezy is getting a free pass, to be honest. Yeah, he's got himself a uh, five-second lead over Bull Beast at the moment. Hurricane currently two seconds behind Sasha in third. Starfish joining in on the fray to try and uh, push for a potential podium here.
I mean, I'll say this, there are definitely a number of contenders for, uh, for Driver of the Day for me. Which ones? And, well, Frizzy, Frizzy being one of them, gonna be after, after the poor start that he got, he's, he's managed to persevere, overcome the odds, and he's, um, he's got himself in the lead and is on course for his second win of, he's on course for his second win of the season. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a win for him. It's five seconds now, plus the three. Plus the, the three seconds the that three uh, seconds. Bull Beast has. Even though Sasha is closing the gap between yeah. him and Bull Beast, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Now, interesting, five more laps. Four or five more laps with Freezy and... Yeah, that's very true. Five laps to go, including the lap that they're on. There's the gap between Hurricane and Sasha remaining stagnant at the moment. Trapolos and JBL battling for the uh, ninth and tenth positions. And oh, I was a bit naughty from JBL. He just barged Trapolos out of the way. Starfish getting himself ahead of uh, Andrea. Meanwhile, for fifth place. Andrea's, Andrea doing well, though, to keep within touching distance of Starfish for fifth place, but he's... But he won't be able to keep it because of the uh, the penalty that uh, Andrea has from uh, track limits earlier. Zola, there we go. Three second penalty for track limits. Starfish and Andrea still battling for fifth place here. Yellow in sector two. And I think that's just uh, Zola with the blue flags. So, so yeah, personally, personally, I'd probably give uh, Frisdy uh, driver of the day because of uh, yeah, the because because the recovery he was able to pull off. So yeah, the pole position, despite the despite the bad start, he managed to he managed to pull his he managed to pull his way back through the field and now on course for his second win of the season, demonstrating why he is an X1 champion. Yeah, exactly. Now I'm not sure which position is Wellington now. Oh, he's 16. Okay, it's fixed now. He's 56 seconds behind Smooth. Okay, just so we know. Andrew and Starfish still battling over uh, fifth place for the time being. So both of both drivers having little to no ERS left. And just going to have a better run here. And Trap Pulse and JBL still battling over ninth and tenth place at the moment as well. Jellos, that's Matrix. Oh, what's happened to him? I think that was a spin. Yeah, it was. Yeah, let's put him second to last.
And there we go, Andrea, another penalty. So that could drop him another position if he's not careful. Now Ryan could this could be a double podium for Mercedes. Yeah, and that would be a huge boost for them in the championship. There we go, there goes Sasha into second place. Bull Beast not giving up that second place easily. Sasha still has the inside line and still manages to squeeze himself ahead. We're about to start the final lap now. Another penalty there for a, a Gabo for track limits. Oh, that's going to yep. be harsh for Gabo because he was doing so great but the second yeah stop, absolutely he could have gone I'm not sure if he could have gone all the way with his mediums indeed and if Hurricane can keep himself within that three second window between himself and Bullbeat he'll be able to jump probably because Bullbeat has DRS yeah absolutely and Hurricane needs to try and minimize that as quickly as he can. Got another three tenths to make up and he's quickly mitigating that advantage as quickly as he can. Trying to use the ERS and he's got none left effectively. So he's going to have to do it on track but those softs they've reached the end of their lifespan and I don't think Hurricane is going to get that uh, double podium for Mercedes today. But the main man himself, the defending champion, Frisdy, after DNFing last time out in Imola. It is redemption day for him. He started from pole and he gates the win. He wins the French Grand Prix here. Sasha and Bulby still battling for second place, but it's Sasha that takes second and Frisdy gets the hat trick. Pole win and the fastest lap. Hurricane, eight tenths off getting that double podium. But Andre at fifth place at the moment gets booted down on penalty count back. And he's put it into the wall for some reason. Starfish fifth. Gabo currently seventh at the moment. And look at this. Look how close this is. And there we go. And uh, Gabo keeps seventh. Warrington eighth. Tudor points on his debut. Ninth and tenth for JBL. Yeah, Wellington, I'm not sure if he's not. He, he should be P8. I believe he was uh, P16. We're going to check that out. Hmm. There we go. That's, that's the race over. So who's going to get driver of the day here? And, uh, and <laughs> Wellington. Wellington gets the Codemasters driver of the day. I mean, okay, Codemasters. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it's this man here, Frizdy, who has got himself his second win of the season. He gets the hat trick as well, the pole, the win, and the fastest lap, and more importantly, is in the lead of the championship as we head to Silverstone next week. So the next. One of the last things for us to do now is to get the Irish National Anthem up yes. and running.
Eins. Again, the Irish have won the song contest. And that's it. Great job, Tracy. Right, and just a quick heads up. Yep. Yep. The um, the desync was only for you. For me? Yeah. Oh. Uh, for us, it was all perfectly fine. So for some reason, you had Waddington, Tudor, and Trap all desynced for you guys. They're all in long standings, but but then when you cross the line, they all enter the right positions. Okay, so, you so that is actually the reason. That is correct, yes. Yeah, so so no, that's so Waddington, Tudor, so Waddington and Tudor, uh, they're they're in the they're in the uh, yeah they're all they, they all they went into the right places at the end, yeah. Right, okay. So the weird one, yeah, Waddington, what is eighth, yeah. Yeah, so but, but he was, I mean, massive, he was massive, the... massive props to yeah. him starting. Yeah, no, no, Caesar, this is the thing. It was it was desynced and then it fixed itself when they crossed the line. Oh my goodness me! So it is actually right. We had him like we were all because um, Waldo was uh, uh, Final Waldo was fighting with um, him on the on in the race. So he was always around him. When you said he was 16 from whatever, he we all knew where he was because he was right with us in in the position for us. So say so when you said he was 16 from whatever for us he's eighth in the oh, race. Okay. So that technically only you that actually knew uh, for some reason it was only the spectators that had him in, in 16th or whatever position. Okay. Even knowing he was actually was it, an eight for us. So was it, it was yeah. Well, well the thing the thing with that is all is that it, it, he he was showing up he was showing up in the correct positions on my screen. Yeah. It was just oh. for it was just for Lopez for some reason. So I don't know why that was for oh. but yeah. Oh. I'm sorry about well, all the, the but <laughs> it worked I anyway. It works. It worked. Don't worry. It, it's Warrington. He, it, he's he's a midget. He'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it'll just go. It'll just go over his head. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> I was keep saying like, oh yeah, he's he's last, but he's a good driver. He can recover. He can recover. <laughs> well, he did get points, by the way. Uh, well, thank yeah. you very much, everyone. Thank you very much, Sola, for clarifying all the stuff for us. No worries. No, I, was, I did look at it and I was like, going, well, they, all your standings are all different now. And then to when they when they finished crossing the line, it all reset itself. It's like, oh, okay, now it's correct. But yeah, okay. so it, it is all right. Okay, fantastic then. Uh, yeah. how, well, we're we're going to be having the the posting of the race results, right? Yeah. So don't so, don't really yeah, don't really yeah. guide on the stream. Right. Well, yeah. go for it, Kenzie. Okay. Go for it, Kenzie. But yeah, there we go. So as as I was saying, the big congratulations there once again to Frizdy, back on form after uh, the heartbreak of Imola uh, <laughs> last time out. Will he be able to carry this momentum over to the second home of the XRL as we head to Silverstone next week for the British Grand Prix? Uh, uh, thanks to all you guys for watching. Tune in in an hour's time where we've got the X2 race. Uh, from Ed Paul Ricard uh, as well. But next week, we're going to be back to do it all again. Same time, same place. But we're going to be heading to Silverstone for the British Full Grand Prix. <laughs> <laughs> Full wet, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. We'll see what happens. But uh, in the meantime, thanks very much for watching, guys. And we will see you guys next time. And good night.